Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mood family, welcome to the daily lesson and before we go ahead and I tell you what is the topic of today's position, I offer you to pause the video, evaluate the position and think how black should continue. Okay, this position occurred in one of my students game and after the game when I asked him how he is evaluating this position, he said that it's around equal. From one point it can be logical. White here has a center, but they have here passive bishop on b2, we have here active bishop on g7. However, the critical factor in this position is the safety of kings. Black king is more or less safe, while white king has not the g2 pawn and it's exposed. So we need to try to open the position of opponent king. How to do? If we play here g5 with this move, we are also opening our king. For example, after knight f5, opponent can play king h1, rook g1, and he will also attack our king on g8. If we take the knight, okay, we are doubling opponent pawns, but now the e line is open for opponent rook, and he will put pressure on e7 pawn. Also here, we would love to have the bishop on h3, so with queen b7 and the bishop on h3, we would create some threats on opponent. Let's go back and see how we could open the position more effectively. Again, I offer you to pause the video and think. Okay, for opening the position more, of course, we can take cd4 first. cd4, cd4, the c line is open, and here we can play a good move e6. What we are accomplishing with this move? If opponent takes f6, we will take f6, and now our rook on f8 is also open. Together, our rook on f8 and the bishop on h3, it's very clear that are going to put pressure on the king on g1. Next move is coming queen f7, attacking the f2 pawn, queen f4, queen h4 can be, and here white center is also hanging. The bishop on g7 is the active bishop, while the opponent bishop on b2 is passive one, there is no way to play d5 because of the pin. After e6, if white doesn't take on e6, the next move when we take ef5, after ef5, ef5, we open the position of the king, we open the long diagonal, and we don't have any more d7 weak pawn, so opponent is putting pressure here. Also, we didn't take the f5 pawn with the g pawn, and our king is still safe. Another thing we can do, if opponent doesn't take uh, fe6, we can play queen b7, and then prepare ef5 move with queen g2. Or, after e6, we can think about maneuver queen e7, queen h4. Queen h4 is coming to support the bishop on h3, and we can take on f5 later. Now it's becoming very clear that white king is not safe. So, champions, when you are evaluating any kind of position, it's a very important factor whose king is weaker and whose king is safer. At the end of the lesson, I have a position for you. It's white to move. How would you evaluate the position? Who is better and why? You can put the answers in the comments section. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next daily lessons and thank you for all your support, for subscribing to our channel, for liking the videos and sharing them with your friends. See you soon.